Hi, we're, we're Sister Sledge. Sledge. And we're the Whammos. Who watch music news with, with Marco. Marco. Sister Sledge, Debbie, Joni, Kim, it's great to meet you. How are you doing today? Hi, Hi doing thank great. You. Fantastic. How are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad at all, thanks. Great. You've certainly been keeping yourselves busy at the moment. You're, you're here for International Women's Day to support Care International Walk in Her Shoes event. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about that and how you lent your support and, and why it's so um, close to your hearts, really? Well, first of all, it's, a, it's an honor for us and we're, we're very excited to be able to participate. Walk in, walk in Her Shoes is a, an effort uh, by women all over the world to support each other and to, uh, to stand for uh, the, the empowerment of women, but also to bring awareness that there are women who are still, uh, who are being, uh, there are abu there's abuse still in the world. And we want to also, in, in addition to that, we want to raise funds with uh, for which are helping women in developing countries. As a matter of fact, there's a challenge, and we're asking all the women in the world to walk 10,000 steps a month for the whole month, oh no, 10,000 steps a day for the whole month of March. Mm -hmm. And wow. so we're kind of leading that off. We're honored to be there with uh, whammos that we absolutely adore, yeah. like Annie Lennox. We have such respect for her talent, mm -hmm. and Bianca Jagger, and and also of course Helen, Helen. Lenkhurst. I mean, yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, my goodness, and her the history with her great, I believe, great grandmother. Great grandmother. Yeah. I mean, have Emily you learned the first yes. Have you learned a lot just being part of it? I guess. Yes, yes. and then also researching it and yeah. understanding. It not only has it been such an, it's an international effort. And just being a part of the history of that, it's to, to be able to walk in the shoes of not only mm -hmm. these women who are suffering, but also those who have fought for the mm -hmm. sufferers and being right. a part of that, we're so honored. Right, yeah. it's, right. it's very right. empathic to us to just be here yes. and be asked to even headline it, to mm -hmm. sing with your family, to sing um, something that unites us all mm -hmm. as empowered women. It's just. Right. It's just wonderful. Absolutely. And we don't take it lightly either that the coincidence of our new song being Women Are the Music of the World or Whammo. Right. We're standing for powerful women, women um, who, who stand for, um, not only for what is right, but will stand up, fall down, get up, stand up again, and be powerful and push for their lives as well as others, for their families, for their marriages, for uh, equal opportunity and jobs, everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been trying to get a, a, a clip of the song, but it's very, very it's been kept under wraps, I hear, until, <laughs> until April. What, what can we expect? <clears throat> Women are the, well, be quiet. <coughs> I get no. We are going <laughs> to do a, a little teaser. Bit um, on at the event, yes. Yes, yes we're going to do a teaser at the event, mm -hmm. and we're all going and we're going to debut it the following week. But it actually is re going to be released in April, so no one has heard it yet. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, we've been working on it, and we we just love it. But um, our most important thing is to get the message of empowerment out even before mm. the song is released. Right. Women are the music of the world is our message and nothing is greater than love. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, mm -hmm. it's very important to us. Yeah. It's part that. of our campaign, yeah. Mm -hmm. it certainly yeah. is. Yeah. And um, I mean, you're gonna be playing live at say Women of the World Festival in the South Bank. And right. um, I mean, is playing live still still as important as it always was? And is that the sort of part of the, the best bit of the job in a way for you? Absolutely, or? it is. Absolutely. It is. You know, I, I was speaking with someone today, and they happened to mention to me that some artists are actually recording their, they're singing to recordings when they're performing. <laughs> I was in shock really? because hey, what is it not to sing to an audience? It, the 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 energy between oh, you, the to, synergy to actually yeah. lip sync. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, you can get found that? out quite quickly. That <laughs> That's not a whammo thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I could well no, because there's a, there's work. an interaction you, that you cannot have. This, you can't possibly have with a tape. Yeah, the synergy. No. I mean, it's one thing if you need a track to perform to, but sing. Yeah, no, no, but no. sing in you know, your your voice. Or if you but, have to add some strings or percussion that you don't have up there. Mm -hmm. But actual singing. 
you yeah. have to sing. No, no, I've <laughs> seen you live a few times and you yeah. always um, carry the, the, the audience and give them an extra sort of... <laughs> Oh. Boost, That's the as fun it were. part. Thank you. It's just like us talking audiencing. together or texting. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? We can send an emoji, but wait a minute. <laughs> emotion is emotion. And yeah, I mean, you've got that, that single coming out, or the, the new song, but are you working on, on a lot of other material then yes. as well at the same yes. time? Oh, that's we have a tremendous amount of material that we've been working on for a while. As a matter of fact, the single's the last thing that we actually wrote. But you want to talk ah. about it, Deb? Uh, no, I, you have answered that. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> but well, the, and, and everything has been composed. Right, and the theme of it is nothing's greater than love. Right, So the yes, music yes. that we've written all has some element of that kaleidoscope mm -hmm. of love because it's all different. Um, for example, Debbie wrote a song about her daughter um, and how much she is pulling for her. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a song about... Um, a couple that couldn't get it together, but they loved each other tremendously. It's called Love Courageous, getting beyond walls to really mm -hmm. reveal what it is. And mm -hmm. Kim's written many beautiful spiritual songs about mm -hmm. the love of God and, and the heart for you know loving life that way. Mm -hmm. So I think that Whammo is the last one that we've written. We've got mm -hmm. a whole lot and they're, they're all coming. We'll start with this one, we'll start with the message, we'll start with a single, and the album's going to come but very is, is so closely the, the, afterwards. The, nothing is greater than love. Is that the concept or is that the album name itself? Yeah, no, it's, it's that's the our concept. concept. That's the concept. What's the album called then? You are well, thinking. Uh, <laughs> we can't tell you everything. <laughs> well, right wanna, now, the, work, wanna, the working I, title is Whammo. Right. We, love, we just love that whole concept. It's very powerful. It has like a feeling yeah, to absolutely. it. Go. And, you, you, and you have to ask, well, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We want people to ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but as, you, as you explain it, women are the music of the world. But what right. does it mean then? <laughs> in, 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 in its I, real depth? Well, thank you. What does it mean? I do want to yeah. say, well, I do want to say another part of, of that message is sisterhood and unity. Mm -hmm. So that's also part of that message. Right. And the things you can accomplish if you, accompli you, can, if you work together to accomplish them. Absolutely. I mean, it looks like, you know, Sister Sledge is, is sort of regrouped, reinvigorated, ready for, for a new adventure. Is that, is that the way you're feeling at the moment? Uh, well, we, we we're never... always ready. <laughs> but are you We've prepared? Been... That's, <laughs> that's the course, point. Of course. <laughs> exactly. That's an excellent statement. You can be ready, but be prepared. So be prepared for the ready, you know? Well, but... we, we've kind of been work, doing a lot of amazing work throughout mm -hmm. our career. Amazing work. And we've been meeting amazing people. We've done a lot of travel. We've, we've experienced music from all over the globe. A lot of those influences are in our music now. Music from Africa, from India, music from Israel. Just, they're just beautiful music everywhere. International and, music. Uh, if yeah. we, you cannot be in music and travel like we have and not be encouraged and enlightened from all of the music that we've encountered so yeah right. you're going to see a different kind of album right so the whole whammo experience as you've asked what does that really mean what it really means is pretty much what debbie has said unity in the spirit uh the bond of peace and nothing's greater than love really that's what right. it brings it encourages and it embraces it 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 we lift women encourage women um but also all that women mean to the world we're mothers, we're wives, um, we're sisters. executives, we're sisters, and all of what that embraces. Um, we, in, in no way, because uh, someone mentioned this to me once, are we ostracizing men, are we separating ourselves? Oh, no. no, not at all. We're just taking women and showing them in their, the fullness of their glory and showing how much they impact everyone. Yeah, I mean, there are a few mammals out there, too. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I, no, I just wanted to answer your question a, a, um, a little more directly. Yes, there is a new Sister Sledge new season. emerging. This is a new season. Yes. 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 Thank yes. you, Debbie. And we're looking forward to that. I mean, you all look very glam glamorous today as you have 
always you, done from, from the you. word go. But, you know, so before stylists and fashion tips, etc., who was, who, how, where did you get your fashion tips, hairstyles, and all, all the, uh, all the glamour from, from the early days, as it were? I think oh, it was from uh, around her. the early days. I, I'd say I'd have to. We'd have to point, point to, her, to her. Point it to Joni, <laughs> because she's the fashionista in the group. I always was. I, so don't I, I just think that um, traveling really does it. Of course, there are some amazing experts out in the world. I don't even. I can't like look through a fashion magazine and say I want those shoes and that bag. And the older we get, and I say older, but the more experienced you are, you're just saying perfection's not necessary. Comfort is really important. Freedom. If you're a whammo, you can't go out of of the house with no no makeup. You can't go out of the house naked. (laughs) You have to at least. Take care of yourself. That's very, very important. Oh, cool. So I, I think taking yeah. good care of yourself is the first step. Mm-hmm. If if you're a whammo, the clothes don't make you. You make the clothes. Oh, very good, Deb. I like well that. Said. <laughs> that's, that's right. Well said. And there is a such such a thing as natural beauty without the makeup. Yes. So that's the same thing. Yes. No, no, you seem to have a, an aura, all three of you. Oh, First time I met you, I'm very pleased. Um, I mean, thinking back to the 70s now, do you think that period, when you think back to Studio 54 and, and the music that came out of that decade and shortly afterwards, do you think that was the best period in music ever? Uh... Um, no, I think that was a great <laughs> period of music, but there are... There are Maybe no, the I most danceable period, but not the best music ever. I music, think it was great music. It was excellent. I'm, I love it. I mean, I'm just saying that music is so amazing and so evolving and so everywhere in every corner of the world. We have a, we have a museum in Phoenix, Arizona called the MEM, Musical Instrument Museum. It's fascinating. Because if you go, you see instruments that you have never seen in your life, and you walk up to these screens, and they start playing them for you. And I have to say, I, I was in Africa once, South Africa. I saw a 40-piece orchestra, and I had no idea what any of those instruments were, but they were all the most beautiful, harmonic incredible sounds that I had never heard before. So to, to compare that to Studio 54 is a little difficult. However, I will say this, there are only two kinds of music we say in the world, good music and bad music. So wherever it is, Studio 54 was good music. I mean, it was fun, it was, it was driving, it brought people together. All ages. Yeah. yeah As a yeah. matter of fact, I remember a couple that used to come to one of the clubs we used to work at. When we started out, because we did every club you can think about along the East, that East, I mean, New York, <laughs> Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, every club. And this little couple, they were senior citizens. And they would come in, and people were on the dance floor. I mean, they were, you know, regular folk on the dance floor just dancing. And, and they would come every show we had. <laughs> and they'd get in the middle of that dance floor with everybody else, and they'd be, do the hustle. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they were doing the foxtrot. And swinging. No, they were doing the hustle, girlfriend. <laughs> they were. And I think that was so great because that era did bring everybody together. It did. It yeah, no, thing. absolutely. I, I mean, thank every you very culture, much. Every culture, every age. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. But I mean, you've had a long and, and varied history. You've been all over the world. You've played to, to the Pope even. If you had to just very quickly pick a highlight each o- across your career, what, what's the first thing that sort of jumps oh, into your boy, head? That's a tough question we get asked all <laughs> the time. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say, for me, a highlight is a realization that I actually I, I admire my sisters. I admire who they've become. I admire the the uh, the artistry in them, how they have developed as artists, and I have the privilege of working with them. That's very That's sweet. my highlight. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, there have been so many. I remember one time we were in Jamaica, and the sound company didn't put our sound on, and Kim went out to this huge crowd. And started saying, because having the crowd them was clap. starting to get riotous. <laughs> they were starting to get very yeah. agitated. <laughs> so she but she the said, crowd. she told the world, we're going to sing for you, but they won't put on the sound. <laughs> In the meantime, we did the concert anyway. 
And the next day in the paper, there was a big picture for her. Sister Savior! Hey. I was like, oh, go <laughs> Kim. Oh my gosh. That was a highlight. That was really. <laughs> there were a lot of dangerous From things going on around. Behind so the many scenes. Things, Two things I would say. I've watched. I've watched the Lord be faithful to us. You know, giving us the privilege to do what we do, and always being faithful, opening doors. There's been so much favor. So I just praise God. You know, yeah. for that, and, and believers in, in uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and He's faithful. He's been faithful. God He's is good. faithful. And the other thing is this, um, the cowbells. Mm. That is one of my highlights. Which one? The cowbells. There really are cows with bells on them in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you There really I are. It. I, knew it. I love them. When I had the opportunity to see those cows and hear those bells, I said, oh, my gosh, Heidi. It's really <laughs> like Heidi. Picturesque. It's real. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. All right. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much indeed.